Assalamu alaikum dear students. This is me, Atiya Maksud, your maths teacher. Today we are going to learn about the parameter. So by the end of the topic, you will be able to find the parameter of a shape using a square grid. To find the parameter of a rectangle and a square using the formula. And to find out the parameter of composite shape. So, what is the parameter? Parameter is the path surrounding the area of a closed region. In this figure, this outside boundary will be the parameter of this region. Or, parameter is the sum of all sides of a two-dimensional shape. For example, this is a two-dimensional shape. So, its parameter will be the sum of all of its sides. And its parameter will be equal to A plus B plus C. Now coming to our first objective, the parameter of a shape using a square grid. Now what is a square grid? A square grid is a grid formed by tiling the plane regularly with the squares. This is our square grid and we will use this square grid to find out the parameter of any shape. In number one, finding the parameter of a square using a square grid. So here we take a square made up of four small squares with each side of one centimeter. In finding the parameter, we want to know how far it is to move around the outside of the shape. So, we need to count the distance around the shape to find the parameter. Let's look how can we do that. If we imagine we are walking around the outside of the shape, we will walk like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 spaces. So, it took us eight spaces to move around the outside of this square. So, the parameter of this shape will be 8 cm. Now, finding the parameter of a rectangle using a square grid. Now, look at the given rectangle. It is made up of 10 small squares, each with the side 1 cm long. So the parameter of this rectangle will be the outside boundary of the square. Now in order to find out the parameter of this rectangle, we will walk around the outside boundary of this rectangle as 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Spaces. So, it took us 14 spaces to walk around the outside of this shape. So, the parameter of the given rectangle will be 14 cm. The next method to find out the parameter of a rectangle and a square is using formula. Now, let's derive the formula for the parameter of a square. For this, we consider a square with all the four sides of L cm each as shown in this square. We know that the sum of all the sides together is called the parameter. So, the parameter of this square will be L plus N plus N plus L. That is the sum of all the four sides. And that will be equal to 4L. Therefore, the formula for the parameter of the square is 4L. Now, let's solve an example. In this example, we have to find the parameter of a square with the length of the size 5 cm each. We know the formula of the parameter that is 4L. So, we will apply formula to this square. So, it will be equal to 4 into 5. As we have a length of a square 5 cm and that will be equal to 20. So the parameter of a square with the length 5 cm is equal to 20 cm. 
Now, formula for the perimeter of a rectangle. We will consider a rectangle that has a length L and a breadth B. We know that the sum of all the sides together is called the perimeter. So, the perimeter of the rectangle will be equal to L plus B plus L plus B. In order to make it simpler, we will write the similar terms together as L plus L plus B plus B. That will be equal to 2 times L plus 2 times B. Now, 2 is in both terms, so we will take it outside and that will be equal to 2 times length plus breadth. So, the formula for the perimeter of a rectangle is 2 times L plus B. Now, in this example, we will find the perimeter of a rectangle with the length of 12 cm and a breadth of 5 cm. We know the formula of the perimeter is 2 times length plus breadth. So, for this rectangle, we have a length 12 cm and a breadth 5 cm. So, we will put these numbers in the formula and it will be equal to 2 times 12 plus 5. Firstly, we will add these 12 and 5 and then multiply its answer by 2. So, 12 plus 5 is 17 and then we will multiply 17 by 2. It will be equal to 34. Therefore, the perimeter of the rectangle will be 34 centimeter. Now, it's time to find out the parameter of composite shapes. Now, think for a moment that what are composite shapes? We know that shapes can be made by combining other basic shapes. We can place two or more shapes together and that will give you a new shape. So, a composite shape is a shape that can be divided into more than one of the basic shapes. Let's have a look at this example. This is a composite shape because it can be divided into two other basic shapes that are rectangle and a square. Now coming to the parameter of a composite shape. By the definition of parameter, we know that it is the outside boundary of a shape. So, to find the perimeter of a composite shape, we add all the outer sides of this shape. For example, this is a composite shape and for this composite shape with the sides A, B, C, D, E and F centimeter, its parameter will be equal to A plus B plus C plus D plus E plus F centimeter. Now, let's solve an example. Find the perimeter of the following shape. For this, what we have to do is to add all the outer sides of this composite shape. So, the perimeter of this composition will be equal to the sum of all its sides. And that will be equal to 36 cm. Now, it's time for your home task. You have to do question number 4, 5, 6 and 7 of exercise 8A on page number 158 of the book. Thank you.